Whenever we are out there tackling different kind of problems, you need to have the know-how of using simulation tools to answer any of the questions you may have. The need and the importance of simulation tools is becoming much more important. And no matter where I'm gonna go, there's a certain that I'll be using simulation as part of my job. I'm proud to say I've graduated 223 graduate students, which is a record uh, for the university. I'm uh, currently doing my PhD at the University of Texas at Arlington. I'm working in the mechanical engineering department looking into thermal mechanical problems of different electronic systems. First thing they do is do simulation. Before you actually make some parts, you do some simulation. That's going to guide you into what you make. So having had a chance to learn simulation as a student, will make the transition to industry much smoother than students who didn't have had a chance to learn it. And so it is actually a very important classroom tool. It's like going in the lab, except you're in a classroom. And for my internship, I did uh, work for Tesla for a year in their office at Palo Alto, California. And during my internship, I had a chance to work on computational and experimental studies of different systems. Simulation was a very important part of my internship experience, and having experience with computational tools such as ANSYS was very useful. So students can learn doing uh, simulations for their project much faster with ANSYS because of the availability of different learning tools they have um, available. And also, due to the widespread application of it, there's a lot of resource out there uh, for people to ask their questions and get answers. It really became popular, so I have been using it in my classroom, and the ASSIS people have been very, very helpful. You can get a student version, which is free to access to any student, any student, any university, and they can use it to learn ASSIS and also use it to solve some, some of the problems they have in their classes. The person that understands the physics, that is in the lab, and then couples that to simulation is, no question about it, untouchable. ANSYS is pretty much used widely in the industry, so it's very critical for students to have the exposure to ANSYS and to learn the different kind of packages. It could be different kind of engineering work they'll be doing. It could be uh, electrical, mechanical, or structure and fluid packages. The students find it very user-friendly, easy to use. Knowing these tools gives you a big advantage. Looking back at it after uh, some period of time, the encounter with ANSYS and simulation might be the starting point for my career. Most all of my students have done very well, and all of them have used simulation tools, and they've used ANSYS. And the platform is very useful to have the collaboration that is needed to tackle any of the problems we'll be facing as engineers.